Hello and welcome to the Philippines. This is July 31st in uh, the Philippines. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, August 1st, here in Cebu City, we will, we will transfer to a less strict quarantine, what's called a GCQ, General Community Quarantine. And more businesses will open up and we'll, there will be some additional public transportation opening up. Anyway, this is, uh, this is some video I took uh, up over on Bahol Island, the next island over. Favorite of many people. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than Cebu Island. I, I actually looked up the land area. Tide is out. It is a little bit uh, smaller sure than in, Cebu Island. Out. The tide is out, I think. I'm not sure whether it's coming in or going out got an app on my phone that tells me the tides but uh, I didn't uh, didn't look at it at the time anyway I want uh, to do a little more of a positive video I have been uh, you know we're locked down here for four months plus and uh, I have been I have been uh, grumpy I have been uh, frustrated I have been uh, negative I put out I put out some news information and a lot of it's kind of negative information. Come across negative, got a lot of negative uh, responses. And I want this video, video to be a little more on the positive side, looking forward. Uh, don't forget our dreams, you know. Our, the dreams of many of you have just have stopped. You know, we're, we're stopped in, a, in like a time warp uh, with this worldwide economic shutdown. Anyway, it's time to start looking forward. There are things that are, uh, the economy is slowly starting to get back. It's still in terrible shape, but slowly they're, t they're starting to open up some of the uh, tourist areas, primarily just for local tourism. Uh, but it has to open up, it has to open up further. Uh, the Philippines is, even though they had a very long, very strict lockdown. Uh, still has has a ton of positive things to offer to the to the traveler, the tourist, the expat, and I want to talk a little a little bit about that. Uh, this particular walk, I, and the beach is a big uh, white sand beach, and on the whole, up along the east coast. And I've done a number of uh, other videos, so you can search those Somebody's as well. Got a gate there. And uh, spent a couple of days there as we were we rented a motorbike for a week. We were going all the way around uh, the island of Bahol, and I wanted to go exploring. Something that I like to do: get off the beaten tra track path. And uh, asked, uh, I think there were a couple uh, tourist police, what they're called tourist police asked them uh, well what's down this way and they said well there's there's more sand beaches down this way so we went walking long walk i don't know a couple of kilometers mile and a half two miles three kilometers i i don't even know uh, we were fortunate to get a little bit as you can see a little bit of shade along the way uh, walking along here as we round the corner up there oh, no longer the shade was it urchin? Uh, yeah. Urchin. You just catch them? Oh, okay. But come across a few things along the way. Uh, the guy, a lot of people go out there and they, they find their food for the day or food to sell. Fishermen out there. Uh, it's a playground for the kids. The sea is a playground for the kids. It's funny. Many Filipinos do not know how to swim even though they live very close to the sea. But others, they're like fish, and more more fishermen out there with their net fish, uh, fishing nets, and uh, you'll go to any market and you have got your pick of all kinds of different types of fish. Or fresh uh, fish. Anyway, after that long right. walk, I was tired. So was we've hot. got a. There was no shade. It's We got a bank of boat right here. And our 15-year-old skipper and his father. <laughs> Is that his father? 
I did not want to walk back, and I asked my friend, uh, I said, ask, ask that uh, fisherman, ask if they can give us a ride back to the resorts. And uh, they negotiated a little bit. He said, uh, 200 pesos. And uh, she argued with him a little bit. She said, oh, too much, only 100. And I said, look, you know, when you're in certain situations, you just pay what you got to pay. And I, I you know, 200 pesos, four U.S. dollars, uh, no big deal to get a ride back there. And just happy to have that ride, not have to walk back. We could have, could have walked up to the main road and probably found a tricycle, but I really enjoyed this ride back. My friend doesn't swim, so she was pretty scared. It's a pretty narrow boat, that pump boat. Uh, I'm told they call it pump boat, not the bunker boat. But anyway, I'm going to, uh, uh, I put up a video a long time ago, maybe a year ago, uh, with, with just this boat ride, but I'm sure many of you didn't see that. Uh, so I'm just going to let this thing run and maybe uh, maybe mention a couple things along the way, but mostly just come along for the ride. And uh, like I said, I wanted this to be a more of a positive video and there's there's so much to see so much to see and do in the Philippines uh, you can just sit and relax and do nothing or you can uh, you can go scuba diving uh, snorkeling uh, fishing and uh, one of these days I'm gonna get get on a fishing boat and take a fishing trip uh, there are caves there are mountains to climb uh, there are a number of places you can camp, I understand. I haven't done that. I bought a tent a year ago, but I haven't been out camping. And the people of the Philippines, for the most part, they're, they're welcoming, they're friendly. Many speak uh, English uh, well enough where you can communicate quite well with them. Uh, if the one can't, they're usually a somebody of some age, and I, I found uh, oftentimes the, some of the older people speak very good English, some of the younger kids the do or don't. Uh, so it just depends on the area that you're in. Uh, but you have cities, you have provinces, you have country life, anything that you could want. You could go up in elevations to get uh, cooler weather, like in Dumaguete up in Valencia, up, up in the mountains up there. Expats are going up there to get a little bit cooler weather. The opportunities are just to enjoy yourself, to live life. You know, just because your heart is beating doesn't mean you're living life. So don't don't forget your dreams. You know, everything is on hold here for a number of months, but uh, don't forget your dreams. Look at that water. So that, a few feet, a few feet deep. Not sure how deep it is here. Uh, the lighter colored areas are the white sands, and then the darker colored is the you know, sea grass.
water really is that clear. Just awesome. Just amazing. Coming in to back where the resorts are. And lots of people out here swimming. Anyway, life is life is a journey. Life is a journey. And uh, getting to destinations is a big part of the fun that I have. Some people just want to get to the destination and uh, relax, uh, experience that destination. For me, the journey is, is more... Uh, more important, more interesting to me oftentimes than the destination. The Philippines uh, is a journey. The other countries that you can go to, it's, it's a journey. Once you get there, the, the life experience that you can have that's available, the opportunities. So don't forget your dreams. Uh, life has bumps in it. This is a big bump. In life, this big uh, economic shutdown. But don't forget your dreams, whether it's in the Philippines or some other place. Now, can anybody uh, that's the father and his son out there, they're fishermen. They work uh, long hours almost every day, I think, out there catching fish, bringing it into the markets. And I really appreciate the fact that they, they, they would take us. Uh, how long was that trip? Was that, was that one kilometer, two kilometers, a mile, two miles? I, I don't know. I know that I was quite tired by the time we walked all the way out, and the way the sun was moving around, uh, there was going to be little or no shade going back. And it was in, I believe it was in April. So it was April and May are the two of the hotter months here. So it was hot, 
April, May generally, uh, there weren't a lot of uh, tourists in this area. Uh, the, the high season tourist areas is mostly even uh, December, January, February, March even. The cold, when it's cold in the northern hemisphere, back in the Americas, North Americas, uh, in Europe, in Japan, and Korea, lots of people like to travel here uh, during those months. So that is the high season usually. Anyway, what, what, a, what a trip, what a journey it is to come to the Philippines to visit so many places to pretty much have, uh, except for the present quarantine type situation, to have the freedom to go to rent a motorbike, to rent a car. Uh, your foreign license is good for 90 days in the Philippines. So we will see in the coming uh, month or two or three as they start opening up. Filipinos are quick with a smile and uh, many times they will go out of their way to help you out. Like any place in the world, there are a few bad, few bad apples. Uh, so be careful where, wherever you are in the world. But uh, live life, don't give up your dreams. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. I've done uh, quite a number of of videos about uh, Bohol, about going around Bohol, and I've, I've made three different trips to Bohol and uh, traveled around out to Panglao Island. Cool. Uh, number of beaches, number of uh, lots of diving sites out in that area other diving areas around and diving resorts around the, the island. So anyway, see you next time. Very, very warm water. Very warm bath, bath water.